Another of the panels that we observe at the Quan Nutrition Clinics is the detoxification genetic panel. Now, as a nutritionist, we always try and solve nutritional problems, but the human body has its own safety mechanism. It's called the detoxification system. And the liver, lungs, and kidney are three organs that really help in eliminating what we call as toxins or poisons or heavy metals from the human body. Now, given our exposure to today's world of high pollution, high insecticides, pesticides, high stress, I think people's internal safety mechanism of detoxification may be lowered. In fact, if you get into your genetics, you're able to see whether you're predisposed to a genetic condition. Let's say, for example, you have the glutathione superperoxidase system, which is your body's own municipality cleaning system. Now, what if I could do the genetic test and tell you that gene is on the back foot? Therefore, you need to eat more vitamins and colorful fruits and vegetables and high antioxidants. So the detox panel for us comes with pure detoxification. It also has the genetic to look at inflammation. So the inflammatory markers could be some people's body is prone naturally to be activated. Activated by what? Maybe your diet, maybe your thoughts, maybe your lack of sleep, or just maybe the environment around you. Like for example, people who work in heavy metal industries. I had a man once working in a petroleum industry in the office, but he had problems with his inflammation markers. And I suggested to him that he moves into an environment where he's not surrounded by petrochemicals. And things that cause inflammation inflammation, we're able to figure this out with your genetic test, whether it's a back foot for you and whether we need to be more aggressive in our counseling, more aggressive in our diet planning. So this is very, very important. Another factor in the panel is methylation. Now methyl donors, basically you can think of methylation as a private security guard in your body. You see your DNA frame is there. DNA is a software code. Imagine your computer and your computer is encased in a plastic sleeve. But if you drop it down, I think the hard disk might crash. But sometimes you're lucky when you brought your laptop, it's designed for certain amount of drops. This methylation is a protective factor on your DNA. It comes inbuilt in you with your genetics. But some people, methylations don't work well. So we as nutritionists can figure out how we can combat it by a diet. For example, when I prescribe vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin is a nutritional supplement, but you also get methylcobalamin. So the factor with somebody with the methylation panel that is faulty or low, I would intentionally give methyl donor food like methylcobalamin or methylfolate. So crystal ball gazing into your future is helped at the Qua Nutrition Clinics where we have proprietary software which integrates the gene algorithm from the lab to the diet perspective which is what we the nutritionist have to plan for. You have only one body is what I tell everybody and this is the most expensive real estate so imagine if you have the most expensive car in the world you could never change it you don't get spare parts how do you maintain it? Methylation is the equivalent of your car in internally rusting and breaking down. The DNA itself unravels, causing various aging diseases. Finally, we have oxidative stress. And uh, I remember there was this one kid that came to me and at the age of 18 was looking like a 35 year old with white hair and little bit of wrinkly skin. You will understand that the body has its own protective mechanisms. However, when certain of these genes do not switch on to protect your body, chances are that your oxidative stress, which could be measured in your blood test. So please understand one thing. When you do a genetic test, the genetic test is different from the blood test. The genetic test is a crystal ball gazing. You may not have the disease, you may not have the condition, but you have a risk element. So what if your risk element is for oxidative stress uh, factors of protection from your genetics to not be there? Then the answer is, could you outsource the protection? How would you outsource the protection? Better meditation, better sleep, better quality water, better hydration, inclusion of antioxidants that combat the oxidative stress. For example, one of the foods with the highest polyphenol content is flaxseed, right? Now, if I have a blood test and I know your, your oxidation is bad, now where do I measure this? I'll look at your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E and selenium levels. Once I have that taken care of and I know any of these levels are low, these are the antioxidant protection force in your body. So if it is low in your blood test and your genetics in oxidative stress is also low, then I know I've also got to look at your nutrition absorption. If it is low, I come up with resveratrol, polyphenols, flavonoids, quercetins, hobamine, in and so many other massive antioxidants that are there in nature. Now, the only reason I take it out and write it as a prescription in a diet plan is because I know that I, as a nutritionist, have to really support this person from a dietary perspective because the genetics perspective is on a back foot. So the detox panel, in my opinion, is one of those panels that you need to have from an anti-aging vanity perspective. And if you have family histories of lifestyle diseases, cancer diseases, then the detox panel can help protect your body in the long term.